Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to create your first successful Facebook ad. So in previous videos, I went over how to set up your Facebook ad account, your business manager, and in video two, I showed you all the different Facebook ad types, the objectives that you can use for your Facebook ad campaigns. And today, I'm going to show you how to create your very first successful Facebook ad. Usually what I recommend to start if you're a beginner, if you're a little bit more advanced, what I would recommend then, and then we'll kind of go through that whole thing. All right, so, so we are in Facebook Ads Manager here. This is kind of what your um, ads manager will look like if you go to facebook.com slash ads slash manager. This is probably what you'll see here. We're going to click create ad here. And then from here, you're just going to click on create new campaign. And then this is what we went over yesterday, right? So if you are brand new to Facebook advertising, if you have a local business, what I highly recommend you use right out of the gate is lead generation campaigns. It's by far the easiest in terms of technical setup. Um, it's going to get you the best results as well. Uh, it's what we use probably 70% of the time. If you guys are uh, a little bit more advanced in Facebook advertising, then what you can do is start with an engagement ad, get a lot of likes, comments, and shares, and then use the page post uh, ID number. And then from there, let this engagement ad run for three to five days, get some good likes, comments, and shares. Make sure that you include a link in the copy of that. And then uh, from there, you can run a conversions campaign. So uh, today, I'm going to show you how to create uh, your first campaign for a beginner in lead generation. Uh, in future videos, I will do the more advanced strategy from engagement to conversions that will probably be coming up next week. All right, guys, so we're going to do lead generation here. You're just going to click on that. From here, scroll down. I would call this whatever you want to call it, right? So. Um, let's just do uh, a, a real estate listing. I know uh, we do that a lot, but let's just call it one, two, three, Main Street. And then what I like to do is call it, um, I like to use these brackets. I like to call it whatever it would be, right? So if you're going to do traffic, I would do T. And then the date, if we're going to do lead generation, I would call it lead forms. And then the date, yes, I'm working on Christmas Eve. Whoops. Um, so then if you're going to do conversions, I would just do conversions, right? So uh, you got to get the drift there. So we're going to click on continue. I'm not going to go too in-depth into the targeting because that's what we're going to go over tomorrow. We're going to go super in-depth on the audiences, the targeting, and things of that nature. So for right now, I'm just going to choose the city that we're going to work in. And I'm just going to do a 10-mile radius. And then up here, I like to call this, I'll go over this in the next video as well, but I, I just like to call this whatever we're doing. All right, so first go 10 miles, come down here, do the budget. We'll stick with $20 a day. We're going to click continue. And this is where you get into the actual Facebook ad campaign, right? So this is where you're going to choose your image. Um, you're going to choose your page. You can even choose your page on the ad set over here on the left. Um, but then we're just going to call this whatever it is, right? So one, two, three, Main Street. Um, this is ad version or copy version. So the copy is the text. So copy one, pick one is what we're going to use here. If you do a lot of split testing, you can do copy one, pick one, copy one, pick two, copy one, pick three, uh, or you know, copy one, pick one, copy two, pick one, right? So the picture, the pick is the picture. And you're, you're testing the copy or the picture or the video or whatever, um, right? So that you know exactly what you're doing. So that's what I like to do. And then from here, I like to choose my image first. Uh, if you want to do a um, kind of a collage of images, I would use canva.com. There are a lot of great tutorials on Canva. Uh, you could also choose, um, if you're doing a listing, you could also do a video of that listing. So say you've, you've hired a photographer or videographer to take a really high quality video, you can use that if you want. What I would do in that, that circumstance, I wouldn't go through the whole video. I would cut it off at some point and say, hey, if you want the full video, you know, click here and 
enter your name, email, phone number for the actual full video. And the next thing we, that we can do is a slideshow. Um, a slideshow is just a compilation of multiple images. What's cool about that is it's essentially like a PowerPoint presentation uh, with cool you know, transitions and you can put text on there. So you could say, hey, beautiful home in Frisco. And the next one could be a picture of the kitchen. And you say beautiful kitchen with a, a view of the living room. Uh, you could do the next uh, picture would be the living room. You say, hey, nice open floor plan. The next picture could be the back deck. Hey, beautiful backyard. You know, you can you can go through that with the slideshow. Uh, that's super self-explanatory going through that. Um, and then you're obviously going to want to choose your image here. So we're going to choose browse. I've already created a few of these and uploaded them. I'm just going to choose one for right now. And what I would recommend now is uh, Facebook actually allows you to do a one to one ratio. So 1080 by 1080. It used to be like 1280 by 720 or something like that. But do a one to one ratio now. And then from here, we're just going to choose our ad copy, right? So in the ad copy, we're just going to say, hey, featured listing, type featured listing in Frisco. Um, and then I would just say, uh, you know, rare opportunity. I'm just going off of the dome here. Four bedroom, three bath. And then I would say uh, tap here for more pictures, price, and location. And then here I would say uh, this home features dot dot dot. Now choose feature one, feature two, feature three. And then on the last one I usually say. Um, and so much more you just can't see in pictures. And so much more you just can't see in pictures. Right, that's obviously trying to get them to uh, view the listing. And then from here, I would do I would choose some emojis. So I use this uh, Google Chrome, uh, whatever they call these extensions. Google Chrome, and then I could use this check mark, I could use this uh, house, and I can use this pointer or an arrow or whatever you want to do here, right? So we're going to use this for the links. We could use the check mark for the features. Oops. Feature two, feature three. Right, boom, and you've got your copy down, right? So, uh, featured listing in Frisco, rare opportunity, four bedroom, three bath. Tap here for more uh, pictures, price, and location. That's if you have a link, so you do link. Um, if you don't have that link, like this is a lead generation campaign, so you would just say tap learn more below. And we're going to use this down below as well. Right, so that makes it pretty simple, right? So you wanna pick three features that really stand out about the listing. Guys, if you are a mortgage loan officer and you're not a real estate agent, this feature listing is really cool because what you can do then is you can have a feature listing every single week of the month. You can partner with a real estate agent in the area um, and you can run those simultaneously. If you say, hey, feature listing in Frisco, by you know Keller Williams or whoever it is by Adam uh, Adam Middlesworth EXP or whatever right you can do whatever you want there as a mortgage loan officer you just kind of have to you have to give them credit if you want to split uh, the advertising costs um, you have to be rest but compliant there but anyway that is the copy that's the image that's how to create your successful ad the next thing you want to do is the headline and then go through and click on the action button. So with this, I usually just uh, say beautiful home, beautiful home in Frisco. Check it out while you can. Check it out while you can. Something like that to create a little bit of urgency. Um, I'm just kind of spitballing here. 
and um, that's typically what we do, right? So we would say, hey, this home is, this place is awesome. You want to check it out while you can. Something like that um, to create urgency and um, basically just get awareness to that listing, right? You want to change the call to action to learn more typically. And then from there, the ad is done, right? We've created our ad copy, we've created the image, we've created the headline and the call to action button. The next thing you'll need to do is create the lead form. This is how we're going to actually gather information. So we're gonna click duplicate here. And then we're gonna come up here and say one, two, three, Main Street. Um, and then from here, what I usually do is I just go straight to the questions. This is key if you want to make sure that you're getting the right information. A lot of times we get fake email, fake phone numbers, all that stuff. If you want to make sure that you get good information, you can say higher intent and they'll actually, um, they'll actually be asked, hey, is this the correct information? The problem with doing that is you're not gonna have Instagram placements here. So usually what we do is just click more volume so that you have all of the placements. And then from there, if you're getting a high volume of misinformation, you know, wrong emails, joe at smith.com, whatever it is, uh, then you can go at, at that higher intent. And then from here, we're just going to go to the questions. This is where we're just going to say, um, uh, get instant access, get instant access to more pictures, price, and location of this home by entering your info below. Something to that effect. And then I usually, it usually starts out with email and then phone and then maybe name. I usually click all of these off and then go through them how I want them to see it. So I want them to see their full name first. I want to see their email second and then phone number below. Because what happens is these actually auto-populate and oftentimes they won't even see their phone number auto-populate before they click submit. Um, so that's just kind of a, a trick, if you will, to get good information from them. And then here on the thank you page, privacy policy, you'll want to put your, your website privacy policy. On the thank you page, what we do, and I've shown this in previous videos, we're going to say thanks. Uh, we'll send you the info. But wait one more step. See if you qualify for our special financing programs by clicking the button below. Okay, and then this is gonna take them through the pre-approval quiz. I'll link that video below. I won't go through all of that here, uh, but from this, you'll just click finish and then click confirm and you've got your very first Facebook ad campaign that is proven to be successful. If you're in real estate and mortgage, this is a perfect ad for you. Guys, if you have a, another local business or if you're a digital marketer who is doing ads for other local businesses, use this similar copy, right? So uh, whatever it is, like 21 day challenge in Frisco, uh, you know, you, you're, if you're in fitness, you're used to those huge opportunity ads. Uh, but you can do this similar thing here. Do you live uh, in or near Frisco? Um, I've got a huge opportunity for you. Um, those kinds of things still work, right? Um, and another important thing here that you'll want to see is the call to action above the fold. So on mobile, it's not really showing here, but if you go to desktop newsfeed, um, it's gonna show like this. And you really want to tell your audience what to do prior to them getting this getting cut off, right? So you want to see this call to action in your ads. And this will get cut off in mobile as well. It's not just not showing that, right? So we wanna we want a call to action above the fold, say, hey, tap learn more below for more pictures, price, and location of this property, right? And that could be very similar in other niches. You can say, hey, tap learn more below to uh, you know, see all of our testimonials of this awesome fitness program or whatever it is, right? I'm just spitballing, but um, you want that call to action above and then feature, feature, feature. Uh, you can learn so much more by tapping 
learn more now, right? So uh, that's kind of the breakdown of this template. Um, I've got other templates as well. You can see those in the description below. Uh, guys, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. I've got future videos on audience targeting, interests, behaviors, demographics, how you can go out and target your specific audience, how to go pause, delete, uh, cancel your ads, and reporting and optimization of your ads, right? Uh, so if you guys want to see those videos, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.